Nat 20. Welcome back to Nat 20. Everyone <laughs> fucking out. <laughs> We're even going with this, okay? Welcome back to Nat 20, everyone. We're in a pre- previous episode. <laughs> Our adventures found a cavern with a huge pit in it that a rock flew out of and went to attack them, chased them like a Scooby-Doo movie or so. And then they fought him, killed him, and they're in a cavern with a <laughs> cavern at the very end and is Asmer is... No! <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> the Scooby-Doo thing was okay, but you took it too far. <laughs> And an Asmer was uh, flew out of the pit as well to help defeat the Brock. <laughs> this is a Asmer. weird start for this episode, but cool, 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 cool. <laughs> uh, what would you guys like to do? Find a new oh, DM. Yeah. Let's talk to the Asmar. Smash your spell off. It already is turned off. Uh, but yes, no, Blaze will. Turn around after uh, <laughs> slaying uh, the Barak, and he'll he'll approach the Asimar. Make it sound I'm proud like of having it. like coitus. I'm, I'm proud. <laughs> <laughs> I slayed that Barak. I'm know? proud of killing it. Okay, so I will approach the Asimar and ask him his name. Gnarly. Role play it. Yeah, role play it. You stupid. Hey there. <laughs> <laughs> Do the shoulder touch. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, uh, yeah. My name is Blaze. Nice to meet you. Thanks for killing that, or, you know, helping kill that thing. Thanks for helping kill it. My name is Eon. What are you guys doing down here? I didn't really expect to see anyone down here. We didn't really. here, I guess. Uh, here. we're here to find the Shardana. I do not know who those are. What? That Brock you saw, there are, there's a lot more of them and much worse down in those pits below. There's a great evil manifesting itself down there in the deepest of the depths. Uh, it's more than all of us Asmer are able to actually control and fight off. Maybe that's the Shardana down there. It is not. It is demons and devils and like the likes of which I don't think any of you have ever seen before. It's a good thing I showed up then. <laughs> what? Are, why? <laughs> what are you gonna do, Lazarus? Gonna if the Asimar can't do it, what are we gonna do? You haven't seen my final power. <laughs> this is my final form. <laughs> okay, Gurren Logan. <laughs> you seen that show? Yeah, great show. Amazing. Amazing anyway, show. and you see that this Asimar is like really bloody. Like blood is coming out of his wings and. All over his body, he's really bruised up. Cool. You like oh. notice the effects of war on him. I'll, I'll burn a, co- a cure wounds <clears throat> on him. He sees you about to do that, and he's like, "No, no, no! It's all right, my friend. I do it anyway." Okay. Well, <laughs> thank <laughs> you. You've actually uh, greatly do offended any of the you need to be healed. I would love to be healed. I took yes. ten points of damage. Okay. Um, I took twenty. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. He'll use a uh, greater healing word. I think. To heal all of us? Because yeah. wouldn't that be like mass cure wounds? Mass cure wounds then, I guess? He gets 13 points of health back. Okay. He says, thank cool. you, my friend. That is unnecessary. Yeah, so <laughs> mass cure wounds. <laughs> choose up to six but creatures. I, I appreciate it all that much. Anyway. No problem. Mass cure wounds is choose up to six creatures. Each target regains hit points equal to 3d8 plus spell casting. Modifier. I guess the first time you actually heal someone. Oh, I've healed myself before. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, someone else. <laughs> Uh, you guys got 20 hit points back. Thanks. Hot diggity dog. Never say that again. I will. The Asmir will say, I have to get going. I was just meant to come back up here to defeat the Vrock that escaped. Well, but to keep really my words, there's a po- powerful evil brewing down below. So... And be prepared for it, because it may come up in the future. One more thing. Yes. That cabin over there. Yeah. Do you know what's in it? I'm pretty sure it's empty. My There's great- no weird spooky thing that's going to try and eat us. <laughs> My great aunt Hilda lives in so. there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Um, well, thank you. You don't want to stick around and help the old boys out? <laughs> I have to help out the battle down below. That's fair. That's fair. It's like a last ditch effort to get like a cool bodyguard and all. Uh, we would totally help, but we have to kill the Shardana and... 
We can't do that, man. <laughs> we have our own. <laughs> this Barack nearly effed us up, so. I know, but if Asmar wasn't here. He didn't even do yeah. anything. And he he shot with one. an arrow and missed. Yeah, oh, I thought... He hit him once with his great sword. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. Much. Okay. Probably well, we... Yeah, we just don't want to help. <laughs> just beware. Be prepared. There is an evil coming soon that we and the Solars and uh, Celestials are not able to keep it... Might not be able to keep it bay. So just prepare for an evil in the coming years. Foreshadowing. Impending doom. Alright, well, we'll do our best for that. I'll bid you adieu. Good luck on your quest against the Shardana. Well, it feels well, kind of less important now, but... Can I insight this guy and see if he's telling the truth? Sure, if you want. Can I stab him and see if he's telling the truth? <laughs> <laughs> that is a... Oh. You assume... You assume he's telling the truth. I'm gonna ask him if he knows where the Shardana are. No, he just said he doesn't even know what they are. Yeah. Well, this guy's useless. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's leaving. <laughs> Alright. Well, thanks for the assist. Good luck on your quest, and then he just swoops away. I was about to say good luck too, but then he swooped away. Dive bombing down back into the uh, pit. Alright, well, let's go check out this. Can I, uh, can I investigate the dead body of the Varrock? Just take some sure. notes, maybe some teeth. Are you going to say take the nose? No. I'm going to take some notes on it, draw some pictures, uh, take some teeth. Sure. All right, yeah. well, while he does that, I'm going to go check out this cool cabin over here. Yeah, uh, I'll be there shortly, uh, we'll but I'm just... see you in half an hour. <laughs> More like five minutes, but that's fine, yeah. <laughs> it's a quick speed sketch. But yeah. Okay. I'm going to go to the cabin as well. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> as you open the door to this cab cabin, you <laughs> notice that... It's very old, like, well, pretty old, like, at least probably 200 years old or so. And as you look around, you see just decrepit looking, uh, like, tables, chairs that are almost broken down. There are broken windows everywhere. And just looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. You do see a few picture frames with pictures in them. And it's of what looks to be humans, like a human family. Mm. Oh, it's such a place to end up down here. Yeah. Uh, could you roll an insight check? Oh, uh, yeah. That's a nat 17 plus 2. So, uh, yeah, 19. That's a 3. I got 8. Uh, so, Farron and uh, Ryan, you both assumed that probably either during or right after the battle, the war against humans, some humans probably came down here risking their lives to get here to just live in exile and away from hmm. the war. Well, uh, I'm gonna <laughs> investigate this and see if there's like you know, any bedrooms, any cabinets I can search. Yeah, uh, there are two bedrooms in this house, uh, as well as just like a, a storage room, kitchen, living room type area, stuff like that. Okay. Is there a basement? Uh, there's no basement, no. Cellar? No. No. I'm going to take one of the pictures out of the frame. Okay. I'm going to check out the storeroom. Okay, uh, in the story, storeroom, you find a lot of nonsense, rotten foods, I guess. So you can't really figure out what they are just because they're so rotten and there's not much left of them. As well, you see a few uh, rats just screwing around and just a lot of dust. Okay. Uh, what's in the bedroom? The uh, you realize one of these bedrooms would be like the master bedroom, and inside you see a large bed that has been eaten away by some animals of some type. Uh, as there's also a nightstand and a desk in this room. There are some really old books, but they look to be in really bad condition, just from age. And, uh, just roll an investigation check. Six. Uh, it appears to you there's not nothing much of importance in this room. And the books, like, they're unreadable, they're just, like, falling apart? Uh, yeah, you can read a couple of names. One is, uh, called Humans and the World. The other is Two Ways to Make Pancakes. And then <laughs> there's, I guess there's one more you can read that is A History of the mountains. Okay. 
Uh, I'm going to take the history book and uh, the one about humans in the world. Okay. And I'm going to see if uh, in good enough shape it's still be dead. Okay. You, like, open the books and a lot of dust kind of falls out and you realize that the pages are super delicate. Okay. So you think it would be really tough to read, but you can still read, like, some of the ink on it. Okay. Alright, well, I'll take the books. Uh, and I'll check the other bedroom. Okay. Uh, the other bedroom, you assume, was probably a kid's room. And you just find some decrepit old toys as well as a couple of dolls that are in really disrepair. And they almost seem to be staring at you from where, you, where you're at. That's creepy. And just roll an investigation check. Two. Nothing appears to you to be significant in this room. Is there anything made of metal? I, I guess there would be some... Like, maybe a toy wagon that's made of some kind of metal. Uh, some Iron Maiden sitting in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there's not really much else made of metal in this room besides a couple just toys made of, out of metal. Alright, well, I'll just take all the metallic things I can get my hands on and carry. Okay. And then I'll, uh, you have a bag of folding, right, please? Uh, yeah. I'm still outside, crushing around the body, digging around. Okay, well, then I'll leave the bedroom over there. Uh, so what does everyone else do? Tearing, like, feathers out and, like, oh. <laughs> inspecting them and, like, putting them in my bag of holding. Be like, hmm, interesting. I want to investigate to find out if I can put together what may have happened to this home. Okay. And the people that lived here. Uh, just roll either investigation or insight. Your choice. Investigation. Ha <laughs> That's a nat 16 plus 3! 19. You make uh, me sick. Thank you. You assume that the humans lived here for quite a while and were probably fending off like beasts and stuff and demons for quite a while and eventually they just overtook them. Okay. So demons and things would have done this. Yeah. I understand. Is the house like torn apart at all or is it still intact? Uh, it's broken, but... pretty torn apart, yeah. Okay, Lazarus doesn't think that there's anything here, so I'll just head back outside. Okay. Yeah, I will as well. I'm gonna go find Blaze. Yeah, I'm heading outside as well. Um, I didn't really see anything that took interest. I'll go as well. Okay. Uh, and you do not see any other passages out of this large caver- cavern. However, oh, we have to go back to where we came. Before I completely leave the whole area, I'm just gonna burn down the cabin. Okay. Why? Well, I'm going to stop for a minute and just pay a little bit of silence and then I'm going to get it down. Okay. Do you know these people? Blaze will, Blaze will be like, uh, it's kind of a weird thing to do, man, burning down this building. You got some emotional attachment? That is, uh... Let's just keep going. Oh, huh. ah, dodging questions. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just walk by Blaze. Not suspicious okay. at all. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, what are you guys doing now, then? Well, I'm gonna give Blaze a history book, and I'm gonna ask him to put all my trinkets and metal shit that I found in this bag of holding. For this great treasure, you can have whatever you want! <laughs> and I'll put all your metal in there, and I'll be like, absolutely! Right, cool, great. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. No worries. And, and uh, I'll, I'll give Farron the human... Oh, I'm gonna walk up to Farron and see if he ask if he wants the, the book on humans in the world. If you're interested in it. Sly. I like that. Um, it's just... You know, I, I would love that. Well, that'd be wonderful. It's all yours. It's all yours. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate this. I'll take it and put it in my bag. Do I notice this? Uh, roll um, a perception check. Surreptitiously. <laughs> We're all suspicious now, yeah. so I'm also going to do perception. Uh, the one about human history? Humans in the world. Yeah, humans in the world. Okay. Yeah. 22. You know us. Would we know what book he gave him? Uh, probably not, no. Okay. I have seven, so. Yeah, you don't know us. Okay, cool. Police doesn't like that. He's not the one getting the book. <laughs> He'd be like, uh, what book's that? What? I just thought he'd be one interested in it. And- no one's more interested in the books than me. That's an insult, man. <laughs> I don't mean it to be an insult. I just yeah. thought you. I gave you the history book. Yeah, I know. I gave I'm... him the other book. No, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I'm just jealous. <laughs> I'll, move on. I'll open up my his- the history right, book well, and I'll just that. start walking wow. down the path with my nose in the book. Not even really looking. 
Just, okay. just so reading. Like okay, so there are two pathways from here. So you could go down the other pathway you could have gone, which was just to the southwest. Or you could go back to that cavern and go down, go, like you could go to the cavern or the big pit in it and you could go down the other passage right there. The one that was west instead of east? Yeah. Okay. Let's I mean, go southwest from here. Okay. okay. I don't think any of us understand a compass, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm a boy scout. I got my chief scout badge when I was in eighth grade. No, I think. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Bad Sebastian. Uh, no, okay. Well, let's just head to the west exit then, I guess. Unless you guys want to go somewhere else. Is there really uh, anywhere to go? That's totally fine. Okay, so as you go down this other passageway, it goes on for about another 40 meters. And who's in the lead here? I'll, I'll take the lead. <laughs> Aaron, no, it is. I'll, <laughs> I'll be in the back. Decide, we can both be in the lead. Okay, so as you walk, uh, after about another 50 feet, uh, the floor just comes to an end, and it turns into a pit. I'm going to be honest, I'm not surprised. <laughs> and we can't see the bottom? Not from your vantage point here. Is there... Oh, how tough? How far across is the pit? That's what I was going to ask. Okay, I was going to ask, uh, if we can't see, like, the bottom, is it because it's more than 60 feet? Like, is it more than 120 feet? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm okay. going to give it the light stone treatment again. <laughs> okay. L- no, I'm going to I'm gonna grab your arm. I'll be like, we threw a rock down one pit, <laughs> barack. Let's okay. not throw so, rocks down dark so pits. So I have the light stone in my hand, you grab my arm like this, my arm on the pit, so I'm just going to... <laughs> 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 you, why are you trying I, to summon more demons? I'm gonna like look you right in the eyes. I do. I just <laughs> Blaze will raise his hands if they're slapping. You'd be like, ah, why? No, ah, ah. you, you, sub- you're gonna summon uh, another monster. This pit, like, does it open up to like a larger room? Like, does the room no. freeze? I don't know. So it's just like literally just like down this path. It's just like, yeah. so it's, is it? So it's still narrow. Yeah, it's still. I think I said it was. Six feet wide, like and then uh, the pit, the pit goes about ten feet deep, and then going downwards. Uh, after you drop the light, after about thirty seconds, I I can't I don't know the math right now okay. how long it'd take for the stone to touch the ground and make noise and whatnot. But, but we can see the bottom now. Yeah, nine point eight one meters per second. Uh, it go and hit the bottom. Uh, you would assume it's probably around 200 feet deep. Not really. Is there, like, past the pit, is there another entrance, though? Or it's just... No. Dead end. Just dead end. Um, well, lucky. No demons. Uh, should we just <laughs> sort of casually make our way down and see if there's anything in the bottom? Uh, I... you do find there are some things you could probably use as handholds. And, as well, when you look down at the pit, you do see a few, like, dead skeletons at the very bottom. Oh, I mean, sure. we all have rope, right? But friends, I think this might just be a dead end. Yeah. Do we see another entrance down there? Way to go. Yeah, yeah can, can I, and like, see if I can, like, see, like, any kind of holes or, like, mouth cave? You see that down below, it, like, encompasses more, like, a bigger room, but you can't see any doors or any walls or anything. Okay. Are we going uh, I can just, like, if you guys give me some rope, I could just, like, slip down there and then climb right back up. See what's down there. I wouldn't mind a little scouting ahead, yeah. Basically, yeah. There, there, there might be something of intrigue down there that we might need, so. It's a good one. It's worth yeah. checking out. Uh, I won't be quick, I'll... In and out. Could be more fish I people. I hope Blaze goes down and scouts. Right. More Fine fish people, me. yeah, so hopefully not, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so just give me some rope, I'll climb down. Is there anything for us to tie the rope on on this end? Or do we, like, Use your bodies. Yeah, we'll just hold on to it. Uh, you think you could probably... There's probably a rock somewhere that you could, like, tie it to. Or, like, an indent in the wall or something like that. Or a hole in the wall or something. Yeah. Alright, well, um... We probably need all of our rope tied to the Blaze, here you go. And I'll just give you some... I think it's like 60 feet of rope. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we just tied the ropes together one by one. Four pieces of rope, and we're there. Yay! All right, all right. Okay, so uh, you keep on climbing down and down and down and down and down, and then you eventually reach the bottom. It takes a couple of minutes, just because it's so far away. Mm -hmm. And when you look around, well, when you drop down, you actually drop on top of a skeleton. 
I'm unfazed. And there's <laughs> a really loud crunch as you land. I start, like, squishing the rest of the bones. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to pick up the light rock and use it as, like, something for okay. vision. Yeah, uh, around you, you see, like, the dead skeleton bodies of various beings. So some, like, maybe one human, a few elves, some dwarves couple tieflings, dragonborn, yeah. stuff like I'm that. guessing these are just people who didn't see the pit and they fell in, right? You would assume either they fell in or were pushed in or thrown in. There is nothing like weapons, books, anything of value? Uh, you find a couple really old weapons that are somewhat rusted. So a couple of rusted swords, some daggers, some a rusted sickle. Score. Uh, and there's nothing on the rocky walls at all? No. So it's just a death pit, essentially. Yeah, basically. Uh, you found anything? Uh, just a bunch of dead guys. And roll a perception check, please. So, no, no entrances or exits. <sighs> that one. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you tripped. Uh, the only things that seem to, that are in this room are, uh, you see one passageway to the north, and that's all. You don't so hear anything a, coming from that direction or anything. There's a passageway, though? There is, yeah. Okay. Since I rolled a nat one, I'm just gonna, like, just go right in. Okay. Yeah, I'll leave the rope. It's gotta be some punishment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing it to myself, but I'll be like, one second! And then I'll just walk right in. Yeah, don't go off by yourself. Oh, what? no! Absolutely <laughs> would not do that! <laughs> Alright, you're an idiot. I think he's got it. Alright, we'll see. I will throw the rock in, though, ahead of me. Okay. It's uh, a fucking dragon's face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, as you throw the rock ahead of you, you notice it makes a lot of noise, and then you hear the noise of something loud snoring. I'm gonna slowly back out, and I'm gonna look up and be like, Hey! Ah, <laughs> uh, you mind not leaving me down here? <laughs> There's something really big snoring. Just well, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm gonna like grab the rope and I'm gonna start climbing. I'm gonna try and be as quiet as possible. Okay. After shouting to the top, <laughs> uh, just roll a roll two d tens for luck, please. Oh, oh fuck! fuck. Yeah. You bring it out of so a certain now? number will be if you select oh, enough, then it won't wake up. Percent up. Yeah, I rolled a nine, a three. No, sorry, that's a six. Oh no, it's a nine because it's the odd side. So nine and three. So would that be ninety three or thirty nine? Uh, just roll again, but roll one that has the zeros on place yeah, and one that is. Oh, oh yeah. okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, forty four. Forty four. You hear movement down below. I start to climb faster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> May have fucked up, guys. <laughs> uh, so you just keep climbing, 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 and then you hear a roar come from down below. Uh, I look down. I'm yeah. assuming we all hear that. I knew there was something down here, though, guys. Um, I'm gonna dismiss the cantrip so it doesn't glow. It puts them as a glow. Oh no, you can't see now! <laughs> it's a little late, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Try. That's what matters. So we wouldn't have saw him down there, but we would have looked, saw this rock move slowly, and he goes, <laughs> 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 we would have watched it go into this hole and disappear. <laughs> Uh, what do you see below you is a uh, oh, bee no. here. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, no, oh, dude. You can't fight that. Those are thing. one of my favorite monsters, <laughs> but cool, also, but... I'm not happy that they're here. Be yeah. here. Uh, uh, those those uh, would actually uh, be in Blaze's notes. I made a, uh, like, okay. when I made the character, I made sure it was in there so he would know. Oh, Jesus. So, can I, like, would I see it then in full? Yeah, you see it. Uh, first, you see the head emerge from out of sight. Then you see the body. Then you see all of it. I speak draconic. It does not look up because it doesn't know. It doesn't hear you climbing. Oh, then I won't say fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna stop and like flat myself against the thing while well, holding on one arm, and I'll be like, a... "Blaze, are you alright? Are any of you looking down? Oh well, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I'm, yeah, yeah, I think we're all down. we're all just kind of waiting on him. Yeah, so. I'll look up and I'll be like. <laughs> yeah, so all of you see this monstrosity down below. Yeah, I back away immediately. <laughs> yeah, I don't make any noise if that I can. That looks okay. cool. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um. Oh. Uh. Maybe I do know something. Wait. 
Does it notice we're there? Is it like scrounging around? I have not around? looked up and seen anyone. It's just scrounging around the dead bodies and stuff? Yeah, it's just looking around like all around it because it heard movement coming. It heard sounds before that woke it up. Nice. Uh, but it hasn't thought to look up. Okay. Nice. No, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. <laughs> They're just not moving at all. I already am not moving. And I'm just like watching it like just like with studious a studious gaze, making sure it doesn't see me. Okay. Uh eventually after a few minutes of that, uh it just slowly makes its way back to its cave to go back to sleep. I'll start climbing up again and be like, Whoo, that was close. <laughs> I think I was tumbling <laughs> down. <laughs> I don't and, think we could have handled that, man. And pretty soon after that, you hear the snoring again. Okay. Why? <laughs> no, that's not. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make the rest of the climb, I think. Yeah. Okay, uh, you've made it back up to your friends. Jesus Christ, what was that? Your friend and mine. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Alright, no, but I'll turn. I'll be like, uh, so, that was a bear here. Uh, they're like dragon killers, essentially. Their whole purpose is to kill dragons. Base, uh, but luckily, uh, no, it is. That's true. That's canon. I read that in the book. Yeah, they hate dragons. Yeah. And they speak, too. Like, yeah, they're intelligent. But, uh. Luckily, none of us are dragons, so we were in the clue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, the, I don't know why one would be down here. I guess they have a plethora of fucking monsters in this place. But, uh, I consider ourselves lucky we didn't wake the fucker up. Well, we did <laughs> wake up. No, I mean, consider ourselves lucky it didn't see us. Yeah. That thing can kill a dragon? Yeah, they so hate God, dragons. I probably would have just cut the rope to run away. <laughs> <laughs> I won't lie if it saw That's you. It's a waste of rope. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they hate dragons, yeah. But that's good news because that means there's no dragons around, guys. <laughs> well, where do we go now? Not down there. <laughs> oh, that much is up. So there was one other passageway back in that cavern with a deep pit in it. I'll start, start walking back. Okay. I, uh... I untie the rope and I bring it all up. Okay, but then you drop the rope and it falls and makes a loud noise <laughs> and, you know... <laughs> yeah. You know, rope noises. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you've made it back to this large cavern and, again, you hear the noises of battle and war and death coming from in the pit. I will go investigate the other entryway. Uh, you don't see anything in this entryway. Uh, it just keeps on going and going and going, and eventually curves around in one direction. Um, shall we try going down this path? Maybe there will be some weird beast waiting for us. Might as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it, guys, and I'll lead the way. I'm gonna follow, please. Yeah, I'll just walk in. Okay, so as you go onto this path, you don't encounter any beings. And then it opens up into another large cavern, not as big as the last one. And this one has a lake around it. And you see a small cabin that's somewhat well taken care of to the uh, northeast, just at the edge of the water. And there's no, like, the land around the water doesn't go all the way around. So the north side of the lake is... There's no way to get to it. Like, no way to walk. Well, there's nothing on that side, so... Oh, oh I... I see what you mean. So fucking there. There's nothing in the, the lake or in the uh, water at all? Okay. Just open water? Ah, uh, can I... Can I, uh... I'll, I'll lean up close and I'll look, like, really hard. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll a perception. <laughs> yeah, I look super I'm gonna, hard. I look really I'm hard. Gonna, I'm gonna look as well. Oh, another nat one? Yeah. Are you kidding me? I'll give a little... How far? Not a name drop. <laughs> Negative name drop. Uh, nat eight plus two. Put those away. I just like every roll is a nat roll. And then that. Um, how far is the other side? Uh, it'd probably be about a hundred fifty feet away. Oh yeah, just over yeah. hundred twenty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. Um, I'm gonna look across. Uh, but the land that you're on right now is about like thirty feet. Wide, so you could actually see the very far end. Okay, sweet. Um, <coughs> does that do I get an advantage at all? Or? Uh, no. No. <laughs> I'm just trying. Okay. Uh, that's a solid ten. Nat twenty. Is there another <laughs> bee here? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what you see is uh, so 
You got a yeah. 16, 10, 10. That one. That one. 10, yeah. Uh, 10. 10? Wait, this is a perception throw. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Ryan is the only one who sees anything. Uh, you see about three or four water weirds just, like, going in and out of the water in different areas. Well, I don't see anything. I don't see anything, so I'm just going to keep walking along the shore, like, kicking rocks and stuff. The play stop. <laughs> what, what, why, why, what's up, what's up? Nah, we should just keep moving. <laughs> why? I want to approach the cabin. Okay. Move. Cabin? Yeah, yeah, there was a cabin oh. to the north east side of the lake. I rolled a nat one, I didn't see anything. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, you also saw what? that there's a passageway to the north west side of the cave. Uh, if there's a cabin, I want to investigate, yeah. I'll well, just be yeah. careful, because there's a bunch of cool water beards in the water. Oh! <laughs> and I'll, like, step away from the water. Your accent is... Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm trying. Uh, as you walk towards the cabin, you see movement from, like, coming from one of the windows. I immediately drop down. And, like, start crawling. Um, like, I just gorilla style. Sure. And, and then you see a face behind the window. It's kind of obscured just because it's dusty. But I you see a face looking out the window at you guys. Right. And then you see it leave the window. I just, I still approach the door, but I pull out my long sword and I just have it over my shoulder. I approach the door as well. I'm going to knock on the door. The door opens. Oh, I'm crawling around the side of the cabin. <laughs> um, <laughs> out of view. Hello? And behind the door, you see. A very old being, and to you, he looks human. And he has re a really long gray or white beard, just a few tussles of white hair on his head. And he has, like, a really defined face. And that's where we leave off on this episode of Nat 20. Dad? <laughs> <laughs> nice joke, dude.